Hi, it's Chris Watkin here, and I've got Tim Balkan, who's the CEO of Property Mark. He's with me today on a series of interviews. And on this particular interview, I'd like to ask, why are more estate agents and letting agents members of ARLA and the National Association of Estate Agents? Talk to me. Thank you, Chris. What we're trying to build here is a profession. And therefore, the demand for people to be members we need to increase. Right. Let's be absolutely clear. I mean, I've worked out, back, this is the back of the fag packet stuff, that only one in two letting agents or offices, because it tends to be the bosses that tend to be the, the members. I know you have staff as well. Only possibly one in two are are ALA members and only probably one in four estate agent offices. I mean, they're, they're pretty low, aren't they? It's not a criticism. So the, the drivers around that, there's far more legislation in, in lettings than there is sales. True. And, and actually that's driving a need to be associated with somebody like we do, which gives them all of that information. Property Mark's really good at that because we, we, we give our members lots of information on a very rapidly moving part of the property industry. And I will say for the record, because I am pro ARLA, that over the last four years from what I've seen, it has been exceptional. Yeah. Now, on, on the sales side, it's, it's not as quick moving, but the need to be associated with the profession is, is just as apparent. Now, when we, when we talk our, about ourselves as a property profession, then we can start to talk in the voice. And that, that's what that does. It, it, the, it then creates this drive for qualifications, learning, networks, etc. Do you think, putting aside whether Property Mark becomes the regulator at arm's length or not, do you think ROPA, the, reg, you know, the regulation of our industry, will drive more agents into your arms? It will. It will, but I would, I would actually prefer it if they wanted to be a member of Property Mark because the value being associated with being a professional, uh, the, 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 the learning and development that we provide, so we keep up to date with the latest news, the latest, mm -hmm. um, the latest uh, uh, business skills, if, if you like. Uh, so both from an individual and from a business perspective, it's really important that we get more people as being a member of Property Mark mm. because we can help them with that. And that's exactly the journey that we're on. I mean, you bring in around £5 million a year in income? Well, a, a, a turnover's about £8 million. £8 million. okay. Do you think you're spending, you know, that money could be spent better or wisely to, to, to bring more members in? I mean, if you don't mind me saying that, and I will just defend you just for a second, because you know I'm not, I don't want to uh, force you down a rabbit hole, you're Inspire, where you're actually bringing agents together into almost like little an academy or like a little group of agents. You know, why, why aren't you rolling that out more? Because I've heard some amazing stuff on that, like agents are just falling over themselves and would almost pay four or five times the amount to get that. Um, I will probably test that out and I shall, I shall blame you if that's, the, if that's the case and if I can. No, it, it's about making sure that our members have got access to all of the learning to help them as an individual grow and also to help grow their businesses as well, which is ultimately why we're here uh, in the first place. And as an, from an individual basis, we provide a range of services, um, some we charge for, some is part okay. of membership, but that's the beauty of being a member because they get access to those. So uh, property market is not for profit. You know, so our intent is not just to get money from members. Our intent is to make sure that any income that we get, okay. we're able to present that back and then okay. give them better opportunities at a better cost to, to learn. Talking of money, you say you've got £8 million. Uh, in the press recently, that uh, someone accused uh, Property Mark of paying you and Mark Hayward a quarter of a million pounds each. It is, is that true? It is far from the truth. Okay. So what? So... Is that information publicly available? So in the statutory accounts, um, there's information in terms of direct remuneration in there. And, and actually, I think what happens is it goes in various bands, so you can be able to determine. So you'll be able to find out exactly what you are. I must admit, boys and girls, I'm, I've looked at that information, and I can quite assure you that there's nothing where near that sort of number. So. <laughs> no, not Because <laughs> if it was, I'd be put my hand up on that one. <laughs> okay. Quite. Coming back to the case in point, 
What are you going to do to make people want to join Property Mart? It's the desire to grow their um, career prospects. It's their desire to learn more about uh, or about the industry, particularly in a fast moving industry like Property Mart. And also that desire to learn from each other. Now, if you add up our membership, 17,500 members, all with varying degrees of expertise. So being associated with that network, technically speaking, you've got access to a wealth of experience that you're not going to get anywhere else. Um, and that's, that's just being a member of a professional body. I must admit, you know I'm pro property, Mark. Um, the ability for, to talk to people in the same business as you um, to learn, guide each other, support each other is priceless. And how much is the how much is the the, the cost of that? It's about two hundred and fifty quid a year. Or something That's like that. nothing, is it? No, uh, it, it's 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 that value in terms of uh, the amount of learning that you get on the uh, kind of weekly webinars, the courses, the the networking. It, it's it, it's not much of all at all. Maybe I mean, if you don't mind me saying, I think you're very good at educating your members, but probably there's a lot more you could be doing in your marketing and communications outwardly to attract people in, possibly using Facebook funnels, using targeted marketing. I've never seen anything like that. That may be something that you could probably consider for the future. Who knows? And, you know, I think any business will be subject to that, you know, that comment in fairness, but we're always willing to learn. We're always looking for, uh, for new ways to engage with members. I mean, you know, uh, people want to engage differently now than they did five years ago. Of course they do. So, you know, I've got a really brilliant team in, uh, in, in Arbor I'll, House. I'll give, them the, I'll give them their due. They do care. And, and so, and they're absolutely searching for these kind of uh, of devices, if you like, or ways. And what I want to do, by the way, is, is not communicate with our members. I want to engage with our members because actually, it's that two-way dialogue that's really important. And that's when you get the richness of learning between what we can pass on, and we can pass on everything that we hear from all of our members. But they have the access to engage from an individual basis too. True. Thank you for your time today. You're very welcome. <laughs>